Yo, my people, it's your boy No Source right here with a Trap Star and Cortez drop breakdown. As you would have seen on my Instagram story, Trap Star have a drop this Friday on the 27th of May at 12 p.m. at noon, and it's looking crazy. We're going to be getting into the little Clavish collaboration they had, the colorways, and what we expect to resell and how much for. On top of that, we should be expecting a Cortez drop within the next week. Now, of course, he doesn't like to give the dates that he's dropping on until last minute, and judging by the last couple Cortez drops, it should be crazy. Another thing he tends to do is not give away too much information on what's dropping and only give slight glimpses but we'll get into that as well let's start with trap star the item i want to start with is the windbreakers oh boy now trap star actually dropped these like two weeks ago on a random little drop but when i tell you they did not last everyone went for them and they sold out within like one or two minutes now i'm assuming it's because the stock was quite low but it's still very impressive with summer coming up i can see these windbreakers doing quite well as we know the uk summers aren't exactly 30 degrees every day so you do get the rainy cold days every so often so i feel like these windbreakers are the perfect jacket for the summer nice light not too hot and trendy as well not to mention they got one of the hottest up and coming artists in the uk right now wearing it clavish now the only worry i have with this windbreaker is the retail price it's 190 pounds at retail if we compare this to the iron gate puffer jackets they're 215 pounds of retail but they tend to resell at like 270 300 pounds plus another thing that scares me is how much stock they intend to drop now thankfully they said all the items from this drop will be immediate dispatch so it means that they won't load up on pre-orders however as we know when track star do drop a lot of stock in one go it does dilute the market and prices do tend to come down so bearing all this in mind it's going to be about 190 pounds at retail but with these being the first windbreakers they've released i can see them reselling for about 240 250 pounds plus so it's about 50 pounds profit the only worry you might have is them dropping too much stock and you might just have to sit on it for a bit. But I think we all kind of expect that with Trapstar nowadays anyway. But now getting into the green Trapstar collection, let's start with the tracksuits. Again, these tracksuits were featured in the Clavish collab and you can see Clavish wearing the grey one. Now I can honestly see Clavish having similar effects to tracksuits the same way Central C has in the past. Maybe not to the same extent, but there definitely will be some sort of effect. As always, these are going to be £170 at retail. And I'm going to give them a resale price of about £200, £210 plus. So you should be looking for at least £30 to £40 profit. Now something I've picked up on recently with Trapstar tracksuits is how the larger sizes actually tend to sell better. I've been observing the Trapstar drops and something I've definitely clocked onto is that large and extra large always sell up the quickest. Now this used to be the case for extra small and I think Trapstar noticed that and started just stocking more extra small. Hence why extra small is one of the harder sizes to sell nowadays. But I think in turn that's meant that they've been producing less large and extra large so there's been less stock of it. Hence the value rising and it's selling out quicker. Another slight thing I've noticed is that black tends to sell quicker than grey. Now I'm not sure if that's because we've been coming from bad weather and everyone just prefers darker tracksuits in the winter. That might change over the summer because obviously in the summer everyone will prefer a grey tracksuit that's more summer suited. But from recent drops I've just noticed that the black trackies do tend to sell out quicker than the grey ones. But moving on to the short sets. Ever since they dropped the green collection I've been waiting for the matching short sets to come. They've got the grey, black and apparently a locked item which I personally am about 80 to 90% sure that it will be the white one. Now judging from the last drop when they dropped the Ice 2.0 flavour short sets, I think these are going to sell out very quickly. The short sets are £132 at retail and judging by the Ice 2.0 flavour short sets that have been getting shipped recently, they've been reselling for about £180 to £200. So that's a good £60 profit, about a 50% profit margin. I reckon you have to be quite quick when you're going to grab these ones. Now the last item I want you guys to keep your eyes on in this drop is the black and green 1.0 messenger bag. I don't know about you guys but 1.0 messenger bags have been selling like hotcakes for me over the last two months and the fact that this is a fresh new color i can see it selling like crazy and we know what traps are like they've done the black and orange the black and yellow the black and red 2.0 and one thing i've noticed is that when they do these colorways they don't actually tend to restock them maybe once or twice but once they're out of circulation the price of these just skyrocket i mean not to mention this black and green colorway is really nice as well should be 60 pounds at retail and i'm gonna give it a cheeky resale price of about 90 pounds so that's a 50 percent profit margin 30 pounds profit but what you want to aim to do with the trap star bags is just buy loads of them and then if you hold them over time eventually when they dry out you'll get buyers coming and that's about it for the trap star drop now for the cortez drop it looks like clinton is getting us ready for summer not only is he dropping a new and improved version of the black and white cargo shorts which by the way have sold amazingly from the last drop 
people would have got them for about £85 and I've been seeing people getting £150 plus for them. That's about £70 profit, almost doubling your money. And if some are getting closer and closer, that's only going to rise. Speaking of shorts, look at this hoodie and short set that he's dropping. Now, just from having a little look around, I can tell from the Cortez community that everyone is onto these two pieces. If they are sold separately, the shorts should be about £75, £80 at retail. And I can see them reselling for over £120, £130. So you'd be looking at like £50 profit. And the Alcatraz hoodie should be about £110, £115 at retail. And I'm actually going to be ambitious with these hoodies. Usually I say hoodies resell for about £140, £150. But I can honestly see this selling for over £170, £180. Just because it's an all black hoodie, I reckon bare people will be after that. So yeah, you could be looking at £60 profit with this hoodie. Aside from that, another thing I picked up on from the last drop is the tank tops. The girls are going crazy for these tank tops this summer. Now a lot of people come to me after the last drop saying, oh, Brian, they were sitting they were sitting it's because you didn't look closely one thing i picked up on is that all sizes medium and above sell really well now that's because the cool taste tank tops are really tight for girls so the extra small small don't fit most girls especially if they've got them know what i mean <laughs> <laughs> Hence why if you're reselling, I highly recommend you go for the larger sizes. Usually the larger the better. I believe they're about £35-40 pounds at retail. And they resell for about £70-80. Pounds. So you could be looking at about £30-40 to 40 pounds profit, nearly doubling your money. And I promise you, if more girls wearing them this summer, the demand is just going to grow and grow. Now of course he hasn't confirmed that he's dropping them, but I can see it happening since this is a summer drop. Same goes for the Cortez t-shirts. Something that Clint tends to do a lot is on his drops, he'll do discounts on t-shirts for about 10 minutes. Now usually they're about 30 25 at retail like the tank tops but on some drops in the first 10 minutes you can grab yourself on for about 25 27 pounds but with this you've got to be careful with which design you go for it's usually the alcatraz logo ones that do better but yeah i see central c t-shirt selling for over 70 80 pounds so again like the tank tops you could be looking at about 40 pounds profit doubling your money another cheeky item are the cortez valleys again about 30 to 40 pounds at retail see them reselling for like 60 70 plus if you just buy loads of them and flip them all trust me the profit will add up but obviously be careful and don't order too much otherwise clint's just going to cancel all your orders like he does with mine the least you can do is drop me a like for me making that sacrifice for a man said i can't even get cortez at retail anymore it's peak now i know a lot of you are going to be asking me what time it's going to drop and genuinely i don't know you just have to watch out for his instagram and Twitter and he usually gives clues if you just follow me on Instagram I usually tell all my followers when he's dropping when I get the necessary information also if you guys are trying to resell to me for quick flips you can just DM those sorts of plug on Instagram when your item arrives and send pictures in hand and sizes as always good luck make sure you like comment subscribe if you're going for personal stuff make sure you check out my review videos and also comment and let me know what videos you want me to do we're going crazy with the YouTube team this summer trust me it's been your boy no source bright charge it to the game baby